which topics are important for the QA, which DevOps topics are basically important, right? Many students ask me, okay, Pramod sir, we are now very, very good with the automation. We are basically decent enough with the automation, right? Which technologies, like do we have to learn Git, Jenkins, what all are important, right? So as a, with 12 years experience as an automation tester, as that manager, right? I think these are the seven, eight things that you should know, right? If you are already a manual tester, fresher, automation tester, even if you're automation tester, right? I think all these things that you should know, which are the different tools and technology I'm talking about, plus how to learn them, I'm gonna discuss in this video, all right? So let's get started. The first one, guys, so these are the old ones. We have Git, Jenkins, AWS, Basics, Docker, Linux commands, Selenoid, GitLab, GitHub. First one is Git. Git is very important. You know, it's a version control, right? How to learn Git, right? I have created a free of course, free course, which basically can give you a Git tutorial. It's a end-to-end -end course, starting from scratch, learning Git with the certificate. If you want certificate also from the Desking Academy, you can get it, right? Here, you can get the all the notes also for the Git. Free of course, you can go to this link within a span of two hours, you will learn Git everything right here in this case. If you want all the tutorials in form of YouTube, you can find all the GitHub tutorials here also in this case, right? So you can learn. These are basically Git tutorial and GitHub, right? So yeah, first one is the Git one. Second one is uh, the Jenkins, right? Jenkins playlist uh, you will find on the te testing academy if you learn, right? Jenkins is super important. It doesn't matter if you are a manual tester, fresher or the known IT, Jenkins is important to learn guys trust me it is important it is a tool which will help you to manage your builds it can run your builds you can time your builds generate report email multiple things you can do right go to the playlist section and search for the jenkins and you will find a jenkins full course two and a half hour of course which will give you a enough detail that is needed for the jenkins as a software tester right so second number is clear third one which is aws basics right aws basics uh four are important because when you are basically fixing up with the solenoid right you're learning the solenoid and you have a selenium a web automation that you want to basically run on the aws machine right so you need aws basics and the linux commands all these three things as well as docker all these things three things you have combined generally you should know so how to learn all of them I have created a Linux command, advanced Linux command. So for software testers video, please find this video on my YouTube channel. I will try to attach also, right? And here you will find how to learn uh, Linux basics, like part four, part three. I think there are two, three parts that they were, that I have created for Linux command, which are important. No, only that I have added AWS basics also in this case, right? Automation is the need of the R. This is a wake up call for the manual testers. If you want to convert to automation, job ready automation tester batch is now live. Four months live batch set. Saturday, Sunday, we are going to learn about core Java, API automation and web automation. Link is in the description. Do check it out. All the projects are live with the 24 seven doubt sessions on sd.club. Check out the more details. So all these are important. I would recommend you to do that. And all the repositories that you see, whichever framework that we are running, like advanced framework, rest assured frameworks in GitLab or everything I have added on my repositories. You can check it out if you want to, right? All these are important repository that you see, right? So that this is clear. If you want to learn about GitLab, GitLab is also important for the software testers. Very, very important to be honest, right? GitLab tutorials are available with this link. You will find on the in, in, Init Academy GitLab, just search for this term, Init Academy GitLab. It was, it is a, another channel that I have started, right? So make sure you subscribe also there. Init Academy GitLab. Here you will find all the GitHub, GitLab tutorials, four important GitLab tutorials, how to run your API automation on a GitLab. Here I have discussed with the all the things in this case, right? So all these things, is, these are enough technologies that you can learn for as a DevOps for an automation engineers. I hope this helps. All the links will be in the description. Do check it out and don't forget to like, right? And if you have more questions, which how to learn this and any other question, right? All these technologies generally we cover in the automation tester blueprint batch also, which is getting started. So here is announcement and make sure you join the live classes if you want to follow and become an automation tester. Very, very important. If you, my plan is that if you want right in 2024, if you want to become an automation tester within a span of four months, we will follow this plan and we will basically become an automation tester with the live projects, two, 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 two live projects that we are going to do in the end plus CICD, which will make you more confident and crack your interview also. Okay. I'll see you. Thanks a lot for joining. Don't forget to like the video. Bye. Thanks a lot.